wide back workout. I'm going to illustrate four moves for you that are really going to make the back pop and give you those big barn door laps. You want to see how it's done, guys? Follow me. Chin up, chest up, feel the low lats engage, and squeeze really hard at the top, guys. Don't worry about reps as much. We're going to shoot for 10 to 12 reps on everything here today. But for you, just try to really make sure you get that nice squeeze. Better quality reps on pull-ups is key. From there, we're going to progress. I'm going to go up, pull up the incline bench on a 45 degree angle, prone so your stomach is on the bench, and use the cables. With the cables, lock your elbows in, feel your low lats, and we're going to do something called an active rest. You're going to squeeze both elbows in tight and let one arm work at a time. That way you're constantly contracting that one lat, really getting a nice isolation and a nice pump in there. From there you're going to progress and you go to a heavy one arm machine row. The way I do this guys, I lock my full arm across the front of my body, keep my chin and chest up tall, that way I can really get a little bit of momentum. If you want to move some big ass weight and get a super serious back, you can't be pussyfooting around with any bitch weights. So you got to get in there, you got to make sure you pull some heavy weight and for that your form has to suffer a little bit. Anyhow, once your back is fully blown out, you're just going to finish off with a nice isolation on a one-arm cable lat pull-down. Now when you hit the one-arm cable lat pull-down, get that full stretch that your arm come all the way up, and then when you come down, get past your body. That's why I like the one-arm pull, that you get farther than you can with the bar. So really feel that low lat isolate, squeeze from your rear delt, rhomboid, lats, everything. Feel that nice pinch, that nice pump, and finish hard, guys. Good work.